Oh, Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. You're a lot of things, but you're not stupid. You can't honestly believe that if you shoot me, Kendall will fall for you. No. Probably not. But never underestimate the power of grief and how it brings people together. I mean, you remember the last time when Kendall and me got together? I see. So you want to make this look like a suicide? That's why I'm still alive. And if Kendall needs a shoulder to cry on... She won't have to go too far. Good plan, Aiden, good plan. I only see one problem. I don't really want to die. Nobody wants to die, Jake. But it happens every day. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Have you thought this through? I mean, really thought this through. Say you shoot me, and let's say that Kendall does come to you to cry on your shoulder because she doesn't have anybody else. It's not going to be enough. She needs her boys, her mother, her friends. And soon, you're not going to be enough. And then what happens? The Kendall that you love so much is just going to disappear. It's going to fade away. It's going to be an empty shell of who she was. And you, you're going to be trapped somewhere where you don't want to be. I'm not the one that's going to be trapped. Not yet. You say you care about her. I do. Okay. Then let's end this before someone gets hurt. It's too late for that. Where is my wife? Where is she? Can someone please help me? Can anyone hear me? Come on. Rewinding to that moment. David announcing that he only has six months left to live. In front of an entire party. Tell me that I'm making this up. I'm sorry. I mean, he, he couldn't have called or come by. I, hell, I would have settled for a text, but this... I'm not defending him or anything, but maybe he was scared. Of me? Of upsetting you. Seeing that look on your face. Yeah, well, guess what? I get scared, too, but that doesn't stop me from doing the right thing. My father is dying. You know, if David loved me at all, he would have told me when he first found out. Leaving so soon? Not quite soon enough. I'm trying to find a way to apologize, but the words just seem to escape me. I'll get you started. I'm sorry our first date was at some weird party. Hmm. Your turn. Where the host drops the bomb that he has six months to live. See? Wasn't so hard. Hmm. You forgot the part where the host is your ex-husband. Hmm. If only I could. Rob, this is David. David, this is Rob. We should be going. Hold on. I've been thinking long and hard on what I should give you, Chris. Well, you know what? You can stop because I don't want anything. Come on. Sadly, what you deserve is something I can't possibly deliver. And sorry is just not enough. You feel better now that that's off your chest? Not at all. Which is why I'm leaving you the bulk of my estate. What? That's right. You've earned it. I'm sorry, that just doesn't make any sense. What, what about your children? <laughs> Don't worry, I've made sure they're well provided for. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I, I, I don't want it. Fine. Keep it or not. Regardless, the money is yours. 
Enjoy the rest of your evening. Wow. How soon they forget. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Oh, and here you are, you know, making up for all your sins and what I get, nothing? Holding me at gunpoint? Does that ring a bell? And I know exactly how to make it up to you. All right. Well, do tell. Not here. Come here. Okay. Wait a minute. This is a last ditch effort to get me into bed. Open this in the privacy of your home. Alone. What you do with it is up to you. You're welcome. Hmm. Oh, just the man I was looking for. Forget it. Whatever it is, I don't want it. I don't want anything to do with your little doomsday giveaway. And neither should the rest of you. Because the David Hayward I know doesn't do gifts. And he sure as hell doesn't repent. So no matter what he chooses to come up with next, ask yourselves one thing. Is whatever Hayward's offering worth the price of my soul? All right, look. I fully understand that I can't just expect all of you to believe that I've changed. I can only hope to God that I'll have the time to prove it. <laughs>